Hi students, coming to the next topic that is the reverse engineering. So now let us see what is the reverse engineering. Before going to know about the reverse engineering, you have to know about the forward engineering. Okay, so that is a basic concept. Means uh, suppose if you are if you are going to somewhere, okay, if you reach that destination again, if you want to go to your place, you have that should be reverse. So from this place to A to B, first you have to reach the B. Then only again you will reach your destination. So this is a forward direction and this is a reverse direction. So now let us see first what is a forward direction. Next what is a reverse. So generally the name name by seeing the name only you can understand. Forward means going forward following the forward steps. Okay reversing means again you have to coming from back side. Now let us see the definitions of the forward engineering and the reverse engineering. After that I will explain what are the activities and what are the uh, concepts that are present in the reverse engineering. Forward engineering. So forward engineering means in a software development, if you take any software, so in the, in the field of software development, life cycle, in software development life cycle we start from we start from specification phase okay we start from starts from uh, specification phase and go through analysis phase so after that analysis design and implementation so this is a normal procedure means whatever you have taken the project what type of model you have taken you will follow these specifications means from start from the specification phase means that is a requirement gathering next you have to analyze the document uh, requirements and after that you try to design the project and after that you have to implementation and testing this journey of uh, software development life cycle you call it as a forward engineering we are following one specification means uh, one method so everything will be starts from gathering the requirements and ending with testing then what about the reverse engineering reverse engineering reverse engineering means process of creating let me write that process of creating of design document process of creating the design document from source code from source code and the specification document and the specification document from design document from design document so this process you call it as reverse engineering what I am saying here, the process of creating the design document. How I am creating the design document? By taking from the source code. So, here the source code is there. From this source code, okay, a source code will be there. From this source code, I am trying to design the document. Fr taking the help of source code, by seeing the code only, I try to design the document. And the specification document from design code. From design code, I try to create the specification document. So, here it is following the reverse condition. So, this is a forward condition and here we are following the reverse condition. So, this is the main difference between the forward engineering and the reverse engineering. So, here starts with the specification and end with implementation. And here we are taking the implementation code and try to uh, develop the documentation. Let me write that here. I have taken the forward engineering. And next here, reverse engineering. Reverse engineering. So in reverse engineering also you are having four phases. Sorry, this direction. Okay. So, here, first requirements. 
requirements analysis phase design phase and implementation implementation phase so in the forward engineering first we are gathering the requirements after gathering that analysis will be started after analyzing design will be started after designing implementation is started but in case of reverse engineering first implementation has taken from by seeing the implementation they have tried to design the product okay design after designing they try to analysis so what i had what the design i have taken what design i created so uh, analysis product and give this requirements the specification document to the person so this is a reverse engineering now let us see uh, why we are using this reverse engineering so in which fields this reverse engineering will be useful everything everywhere we are fol following the forward engineering only so whatever the product that we want to be develop that we have to follow the forward engineering means by taking the requirements analysis designing implementation so that is a regular process then why we are going for the reverse engineering in which cases it will be suitable now let us see about the reverse engineering so in the reverse engineering first you are having the program comprehension let me write about the program comprehension so what is the use of this program comprehension analysis existing software with a view of, to understand its design and specification so first you have to take the existing software so from this existing software with a view to understand its design and specification just analysis existing software with a view to understand to understand its design and specification means uh, suppose if you are seeing any existing system uh, whatever the existing system you are taking any app you are taking you think about so how its design will be and what are the specification so on what specification they are trying to develop they tried this uh, uh, software so that is a way of uh, reverse engineering by taking the existing system we are try to understand what are the designs for this existing system and what are the specifications for this existing system how they reached this existing system so by following the reverse strategy they can find out how this existing system will be occur a process which a process which analysis a product or a technology a process which analyzes a product or a technology to find out the design aspects and its function that you is that is a reverse engineering you will follow that reverse engineering in this case so whenever you need to find out the design aspects and its functions from this product you can follow the reverse engineering it builds a perform mainly it builds a program database it builds a program database and generates information from this so the main useful here is reverse engineering it builds a program database by taking the uh, following the reverse strategy it can uh, able to build the program database and also that program database it's useful for generating the information now let us see the reverse engineering goals what are the reverse engineering goals by by seeing this uh, features only uh, some people may prefer the reverse engineering strategy the reverse engineering goals are first cope with complexity cope with complexity so what it's mean cope with complexity means uh, sometimes there is needed techniques to understand the large or complex system so in that cases if you go for the reverse engineering the complexity uh, means uh, there is a cope with complexity so by adding the new techniques to understand large systems and next recover lost information recover lost information 
so there is a chance of recovering the lost information means extract what changes have been made and why so with the help of the reverse engineering you can recover the lost information okay suppose if you if you are going on the road suddenly you lost your purse so what you will do you will just follow the same route back from where you came means uh, you have to reach to that destination I mean starting point what you will follow you just turn out turn back and start to searching again that is a reverse back to recover the lost information to find out your valid you try to check your the way that you came okay so that is the reversing uh, engineering goal to recover the lost information we will go for the reverse engineering means uh, from coding they are check okay here in this stage code what is the problem so here if it is no problem okay it is a problem in the design only so that's why the code is uh, the it came uh, a mistake means they check the design okay design is also okay so the problem is only in the requirements we had we didn't take the ex correct requirements so we have to try to solve the requirements so like that they are going backwards it's a reverse strategy next detect side effects so it is helpful in detect side effects next goal is synthesize higher abstraction synthesize higher abstraction so just identifying the latest abstraction in software you can synthesize the highest higher abstractions next is a facilitate reuse so another goal is the facilitate reuse it detects the candidate reusable artifacts and components so these are the goals for the reverse engineering now let us see the reverse engineering activities reverse engineering activities so what are the activities for the reverse engineering now let us see the reverse engineering activities are first try to understanding the process understanding process so it's just nothing but overall functionality we have to be understand so that is a one activity for the reverse engineering next understanding the data understanding data so how it is understanding the data in reverse by following the reverse engineering activity uh, means it's just internal data structure so whatever the internal data structures that we used and data structures uh, database structures that we used and next understanding user interface understanding user interfaces okay so this is one more engineering reverse engineering activity that is understanding the user interface means what are the basic actions pro actions processed by the interface and what is the system behavioral response uh, to these actions so that everything will be uh, for find out by using the reverse engineering strategy so this is about the reverse engineering. Thank you.